Hey guys, welcome back. Um, okay, so where were we? Uh, we had just gotten those four wolves, which means we should be able to move on to the next area now. I accidentally got all those 24 wolves. Um, let's take a cake with us. We don't have any seeds yet, so we can't... Well, we have melons, we can grow some of them. But... Hmm. Let's let's hold off until we can see if we can find some seeds, and then then we can go ahead and um, <coughs> see about making us a farm. Okay. So let's see where we're we going here. Down this way. That's lava, isn't it? No, it's spawners. <laughs> ah, ah, no, 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 no. Uh, uh, I don't have a good way to light this. Um, hmm. Spawn in there. One of you spawn in there. Interesting. Can another one spawn in there now? I don't think it can. Um, well, what I was going to do is this. To light up the area. And I can always remove that. Let's see what spawners we have here. Looks like it's just your generic fun box. Uh, we've got one skeleton. That's unfortunate. Oh, jeez. I think there's only the one spot that things can spawn in. Um, that's out. Okay. Okay. There we go. Alright, uh, that was pretty close. So, sorry for me being a little quiet there. Okay, let's see, we have one skeleton, one... I think there's two of everything else, right? Two creepers, two spiders, two zombies. Uh, two creepers, two spiders, two zombies, that makes six. But there's nine. Now I'm confused. Okay, let's see, we have one zombie, one, two, okay, if this one's a zombie, okay, then there's four zombie spawners, uh, one skeleton spawner, uh, and two spider spawners and two creeper spawners, gotcha. So, skeleton trap, not likely, we could make a zombie trap, which would be interesting because we'd be able to get a lot of food out of that, um, but then again. Uh, that may not be the most useful thing, having um, zombie flesh everywhere. I don't even have a stone pick to mine you. Do we have access to stone? Do we have access to water? There was water on the surface, but we had no iron to get it. There was stone somewhere. I mean iron somewhere. It was that orange wool that we got, which was up, I think? Or was it down? No, I think it might have been down. Yeah, I think it was down here. Yeah, but there's no stone here. Um, okay, so let's make our way back up then. Um, <clears throat> so until... And then iron doesn't even do us any good until we can get a furnace. So. Unfortunately, we've got nothing we can do about that. Um, so let's move on, take down some of this awful stuff, <coughs> more melons, uh, things are spawning here, 
Okay, looks like this is gonna have to be a place where we put lava. <laughs> because, uh... Things were spawning quite a bit. So let's see if we can't find that spawner. <clears throat> Actually, it might have been under here somewhere. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you for breaking what little armor I had. Okay, he just spawned out here. Oh, actually. There it is. Let's break it real quick. There we go. I don't want to be breaking that with my pick, because that's just wasteful. Um, presumably, this one has a spawner behind it, too. Okay, one of them has a spawner behind it, presumably. But I could be wrong. Oh, or it's just a big hunk of melon. I'm kind of surprised that he gives us so much melon here. Um, I mean, it just it just seems weird after after playing all the Vex maps and hearing that this is inspired by Vex. It's just like, well, then why are you giving us so much stuff? You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm just weird. Hey, buddy. Just hop right in. Don't be shy. It's just lava. What could it possibly do to you? This is like the perfect place to put lava down. Or not. Because it goes right into that little hole. Okay, why can't I hit him? Okay, that was a bad idea. Oh, there you go. Hop on over here. Oh, another zombie spawner there. Or two. Oh no. Oh. So close. Oh, oh. That's just this one. The thing about swords is that, like, you know, most tools, it's like, okay, well, the better the material, the better the tool, right? And that's that's a fair enough uh, statement, but with swords, it's like doubly true, because not only do better swords have uh, or do more damage, but they also last longer because it takes less hits to kill something. What's up there? It's a creeper. Hey, creeper. <laughs> because I'm jumping, I'm critting every time. So, um, not that we can see, but it's. There's creepers falling. Which is scaring me a little bit. Where did he... Oh, he's up above us. Okay. Oh. Oh, oh. No, don't blow up. Whew. Okay. Eat another melon. Figure out where these creepers are spawning. I mean, it is... Oh, oh. We're out of picks. That's not good. <laughs> Running out of picks here. Ah! Ah! Bad! Bad creeper. Okay. Let's just... make a run for it. I don't have a pick to break that. So let's make one. Oh no. Oh, he can't get me. Okay, make a pick. Get back. Die. Oh jeez. This area is... Whoa! Oh, you're a little sneaky one, aren't you? Falling down. There we go. That's not our pick. There we go. Picks do mine these things way faster than any other tool does, so... <clears throat> and down to the creeper spawner over here. Alright. I don't know if those are the only spawners up here, but... This looks like an intersection. With a very deep hole in the middle. Hmm. 
Oh, I think I see bedrock. Which probably shouldn't tempt me to run at it as much as it does, but... Oh well. And glowstone. Which is interesting. Stone? We get stone? Ah! Oh god. <sighs> That's scaring everybody else as much as it scared me. I just need some enough to make a um a furnace and that's all we need. That's ten, that's more than enough. But what is this? Is it a maze? Is that what this is? <laughs> What's this stone here for? Nothing no reason, it's just there. Yeah, it's a maze. Okay. Uh, we will come back to this. <laughs> Those uh, spiders keep scaring the crap out of me. And I don't even know if they're uh, spawning up here because of spawners or if they're just... If they just happen to be spawning up here. Well, they've got to be spawning up here because of spawners. Like, there's no way that that many spiders can spawn just by chance. Oh, right, they can get under. Okay. I totally forgot about that. Okay, we should be alright now. Where'd that chest go? Here it is. Diamond sword! Alright! Four torches. I don't really care so much about the torches. Because we can just make more of those now that we've got enough furnaces. Or we have enough stone for a furnace. Where'd he go? No, get back. You poopy head. Anything else neat hiding under here? Doesn't look like it. Oh! Zombie spawned. Okay. See, so yeah, I'm thinking there's spider spawners all over the place here. Looks like it. Let's bring back our our precious stone. And try not to die on the way. <clears throat> Trying to be methodical here. And is that netherrack or more bedrock? Or TNT even. I don't know, I can't tell. It was just kind of funny colors, so. Okay, this is an unfortunate amount of mobs spawning in this one little area here. Ow. And given that I have no armor here, I need to just run. Oh boy. There we go. At least this area is a little bit lit up. Ooh, wow, that was close. Almost went right into my own lava there. But he didn't. And that's what's important. Or something like that. So we gotta be careful with this diamond sword, we don't wanna lose it. Always remember, if you fall in lava, you can still throw your stuff. Um, people seem to forget that a lot. Because, like, I just... Uh, I just mentioned it. I think I just mentioned it. Maybe that was... I just recorded a Let's Play episode, so... Uh, I may confuse what I was talking about then with what I was talking about this episode. But, uh... I was watching a BWO episode... Um... Today, and... He... Um... Uh, I don't know what he did. I totally forgot now. Uh, he fell in some lava. And lost a really awesome diamond sword. And I was so frustrated. Because, like, I wanted to just scream at him, like, You can just drop the sword on the ground! And it'll be perfectly fine. You can just come back down. Because it wasn't like he was out in a cave or anything. He was right in his own home. And I was like, you could you could easily just throw it on the ground, and then just run back in and grab it later. And... Oh, blah, blah. Yeah, that's how I feel. Uh, I'm only going to do two, because which that'll only actually cook three. So, um, yeah. And now let's see, do we, we have some bone meal, right? Yeah, and some, we also have a bunch of bones, too. Oh yeah, we'll be getting bone meal pretty quick, pretty rapidly here, it seems, so. Let's actually put this where it belongs. Okay. And that one. Over here. Nope, not that chest. This chest, grab. Don't we have an iron axe? Did we? Oh, there it is. Chop down some trees. Why is our axe so dead? 
I don't remember doing anything that was that tough. I was stupid when I did this. I should put it here. I don't need to light up the wall, I need to light up the ground. So putting it up one, all that did was, um... I'm still being stupid. Hold on. <laughs> Alright. There we go. Now we're good. I mean, that'll burn any trees that I leave here, but I don't really intend to leave trees here, so... Um... Yeah, uh... I gotta be careful with the lighting, because... I mean, well, now I have access to infinite torches, which, um, I'll probably do some wood farming offline while I'm just, like, listening to something. I don't know. I'll try to find something that I can just listen to while I'm doing random things. Um, maybe put on some Taylor Swift, because I like Taylor Swift. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm not gay, really. i just weird. Well, not that weird, but... Well, I am weird, but that's not why, is what I'm trying to say. Um, so. Okay. Um, I, I just wanted to put that out there, just in case. I mean, every once in a while I ask people, do you think I'm gay? I mean, I have nothing, I mean, I have nothing against gay people, I'm just saying. Uh, it'd be nice to know how people view me. Um, people are like, no, nah, you're fine. I'm like, oh, alright. I don't believe them. Oh well. So. Uh. Okay, let's just keep grabbing some wood here because we're going to need a bunch of it for torches. Because torches are going to make everything so much easier. Don't have to keep using this uh, lava everywhere to um, light things up. And. I need some water. That's what I need. Unfortunately, I can't go back to the surface. So. Um, because if I can get a surface, then I can get infinite cobblestone, too, and then we'll be really ready to go. Uh, I keep looking... Whoop. Oops. Well, it looks like we're sleeping. Because I'm not breaking the bed. Uh, we have a bunch of coal right here. Why didn't I think to use that for... I don't know, guys. I don't know. Uh, hey, look at that. That just came out perfectly to the amount of... Uh, wood that I needed. Excuse me, I just burped. I try not to burp on camera, but, I mean, who really cares? Do you guys care? Oh, well. Deal with it. So, we now have a bunch of coal. I can feel, I can, guilt-free, I can use this coal guilt-free, because we've got a bunch of charcoal going. So, there's a bunch of coal, or torches. Put that away those away. Put those away. Um, I only really need one stack of sandstone at any given time. Put the cobblestone away, because right now it's a precious resource. Oh, I do have a cobblestone pick. I'll grab that. Diamond sword shouldn't die anytime soon, so I'm not going to wor be worried about... Um, I'm not going to worry about uh, using it up. Like, I was going to say, hey, you know, this this sword is almost broken, but, eh. It's not that big of a deal. Actually, we can go back and mine that, um, iron that we saw whenever <laughs> that was before. You know, I almost like how I I'm, I'm, was using almost exclusively, um, torch lighting. I mean, lava lighting, uh, earlier. It looked, it gave the room a nice look. You know, like there were no torches just sticking out all over the place. <laughs> Like there normally are. Um, so, like, I can see why Etho wanted to make his place torch-free uh, at one point. I don't... I mean, he's working on it still, but I can definitely see why he wanted to. Oh, yep, there we go. Oh, that's gonna make me kill myself at some point. There we go. It's really bad for me to move my um, items around on my hotbar. Because normally I've got a specific item for, or specific order for them. For them. La, 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 la. I said for they-ish. It's, I kind of said for they, but then I like stop myself in the middle and... Now, get back. I don't like you. You're stupid. Oh, hey creepers. I feel like there's another fun box down here somewhere. Um, 
I think it was funny, Goode mentioned that he put a fun box in his map, and I'm assuming it was that one. I mean, I suppose it could just as well have been some other one. Um, and, whoa, where'd he go? Oh, there he is. And we're good. That was scary. Um, but yeah, he mentioned that he put one in his map, and he said that they were useless. And um, I think what he doesn't realize is that with fun bo with spawners, they only spawn in the three blocks um, up and down around them. So, like, uh, they reach 8 by 8 by 3. Or 9 by 9. No, 8 by 8 by 3. Sorry. Um, so, 8 in the X and Z coordinates, and then 3 in the Y coordinates. And it's all. <coughs> Excuse me. It is all centered around the, um, the spawner. What is that? Nope, it's not a, uh. I thought maybe it was a, um... Did I do that? Let's go up top and see what's up there. Oh, hi there, buddy. No, don't... Oh. <laughs> that was very sedated of me. Um, I, I feel like I'm so quiet right now. Um, I'm trying not to be, but... It's hard. I don't know why. Like, again, normally I just, like, scream all the time when I talk. It's just how I talk. But for some reason, when I'm recording, I just seem to get really quiet. Oh, okay, it's that. And that's where I put a thing to stop the creepers from spawning, which apparently didn't work very well. I mean, I suppose there could be more creeper spawning. Uh, creeper spawners. Uh, and there could also just be natural spawns over there. I'm actually going to grab that and just destroy that. Because we have access to sandstone, but not any sand. So I'm assuming this is what I was breaking. And that's the orange one, right? Yeah. Let's just take all this stuff, put a torch there, grab this sandstone because we can. That's weird, there was an empty block there. <coughs> I don't know what what item I should use to gather um, melons with. I mean, there's probably not an actual item for it. But, nonetheless, I feel like I should be using some specific item to gather it. That's what Minecraft does to you. I find that weird that he just put all that wood there, but I mean, I'm not gonna go ahead and just waste it, you know? So, let's grab this iron. <coughs> Because now that this area is safe with the torches and everything, um, it's very important that we get iron. So I shouldn't have brought all my uh, saplings with me. That's pretty dangerous right there. But we're good, so... <clears throat> Hopefully we'll stay that way. Just need to keep things from spawning there. I'll be regathering all of this, all of these blocks that I'm using to make walkways and stuff, but I just need to use them right now so that I can... Oh, there we go get all these uh, iron blocks. Man, I wish these were actual iron blocks. Well, that's not true, because if they were all actual iron blocks, then I wouldn't have an, I wouldn't be able to make an iron pick to gather the iron blocks. So, we'd be pretty much uh, out of luck. I hear zombies spawning somewhere. I feel like one of these, is, at least, is going to be a trap. Or at least one of these is going to be a trap, just because... I don't know. Vex has left me wary of all map makers, apparently. Um, alrighty, that should be it for the, yep, there we go. Run around, grab these little blocks here. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, okay, got that iron. I don't think there's any iron over there. Let's see, any iron in this area? No. Any on the way back down? There's one. I want to get as much as I can, obviously, I should say for obvious reasons. Um, <laughs> those two aren't very, or aren't very dissimilar, so, but they have their differences. Um, okay, oh, this one. 
I probably missed more than that, too. How did you get there, you stupid skeleton? But, uh... Since I missed it, I, uh... Probably won't ever see it, so... Because I don't intend to come back here. The only reason I left this pathway open was because, um... I don't know where that skeleton is. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. Didn't work very well, but... Mission accomplished eventually. Oh man, my mom's watching a movie or something out there and I heard a big explosion and I totally thought it was in Minecraft. It scared the crap out of me, honestly. Um, so yeah, we've got those areas still. Uh, we've We have explored them. So we don't need to really go there, or ever think about it again, really. Um, so I'm... Okay, stop lagging now. Well, with the exception of this block, which I will wall that off. I'm going to wall off this area here. And, uh... Should I ever want to come back? You know, I know where they are because I've got these two things here, but... I don't see that happening just because, you know, I don't know. I don't even know, so why would I expect you to know? Let's run back, and we've only got a few minutes left. Like, seven minutes left, I think. Six minutes. Um, let's get some of this stuff back here. Oh, there's zombies spawning back there. Again, these melons, it's just like, I... I whoa. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I was trying to do right there. I feel like there's some... That's really nice. It's just like perfectly... You know? I really feel like there's something up there. I'm not going to bother with it until I've used up all this lava. <laughs> uh, or at least covered it up or something. Because... I don't want to uh, accidentally fall in. That'd be pretty bad. Okay, so we got 30 iron. That's cool. Um... Wait, no. That's that's unfortunate. Let's use that to the rest of this coal here to cook the iron. And let's see what do we have now. We have that, that. Put those away. Put those away. I just need to remember to eat the melons often because I forget to eat them so often because I don't normally eat that often. I eat things like soup or mushroom stew, I should say. Um, which actually lasts for a while. Man, I almost just tried to hit the sort inventory button, which there isn't one. <laughs> so, that confused me just a little bit. I get so weird sometimes. I don't even know why. I don't, I don't know why I took this cake with me, because I can't really use it. Let's just stick it there. Right in front of the lighting. It is transparent, so it's not like it'll block the lighting. Or at least I believe it's transparent. It should be transparent. <laughs> if not, then oops. But, <clears throat> oh well. I just realized that cake, you see how there's a little line there? Uh, like, or this little space here between the cake and the wall? That's the same thing that they did with chess, just it's been in a lot longer. So, because I think cakes have always been like that, haven't they? I don't know. Uh, we can make another suit of leather armor for the new dungeon that we're entering. Uh, alright. I was going to make it one piece at a time, but screw that. And we just look cool in armor. Yeah. Well, cool-ish. I really like how my goggles worked out nice and clean in the middle of that. Um. Okay. Let's see, we've got our workbench with us. Put the leather back. I'm going to put that stick back because it's just bothering me being, my, being in my inventory. And, uh, let's see... Let's talk for a little bit, shall we, while I gather some some sapling or some trees and stuff. Um, okay, so let's see, what do we need wow, I just realized the saplings are smaller than a block. Wonder if they've always been like that. I also took my axe with me, man. I did not think before I went out there to mine that stuff. I mean I suppose I had already pretty much conquered the area so there wasn't much threat. Um there wasn't much perceived threat, I should say. I didn't expect to have any trouble, but uh, I had more trouble than I was expecting, so... Um, yeah, uh, 
all right earlier I was explaining mob spawners right so say like you have a spawner uh, here okay well depending on which way is north uh, I can't tell what that north is this way um, wait hold on let's see north is positive on the is actually negative on the z-axis um, and then that would make right positive on the x-axis yes yeah, so um that means if you have if this is a spawner then this the spawning area starts around this point here this point where these four intersect it goes out four blocks this way and then four blocks this way including where the spawner is so um it's not perfectly centered on the spawner which i really think it should be but you know it's not my game so who am i to complain um i mean maybe that's just me feeling all ocd about it but uh yeah and so they also spawn like again say this is the spawner mobs can spawn standing on this block or standing on this block but not if it's a spider spawner then they can spawn standing on this block too because they're only one block high but normally the only two blocks that they can actually stand spawn standing on are this one because they can spawn in the three blocks here oh actually i'm sorry i was totally incorrect there um mobs can spawn like okay there are three blocks where the mobs can spawn here next to the spawner and above the spawner right uh that's the three height blocks that it, that they can spawn in and then in the all uh, eight by eight around those three those three levels. Um, so like you'd have one two th that would be one end of the spawning and then one two three four that would be another end one two th uh, one two three four and then oh right there so that's the the area the mobs can spawn in including these blocks. Uh, and then also up one and down one of these blocks. So um, when they spawn, like if there's a block here, they can spawn on this block. Um, of course, if there's a block like this, they can't. Um, they could spawn in this one because there's a two block space. Spiders would be able to spawn in this block right here because they're one block high. Um, but yeah, so the problem is that if you bury a spawner, so that it's down here, and that, like say this this sandstone block right here is a spawner, then the only blocks they can spawn on are the blocks, like the highest they can spawn is is right here where I'm standing. So if you cover that up, they can no longer spawn. Um, so having it entirely enclosed in the floor doesn't work, um, which is why Vex often does it, where he'll have like a a curve in the ground, like a little hill, and then he'll put it in the hill so that way they spawn out the side. Um, because that's the only way that you'll actually get it to work properly. <clears throat> but yeah. So, uh, I just thought it was really funny when Good was complaining because they don't work. Uh, and I knew that was why, because it is it is hard to position a, a spawner so that it works properly while still being hidden. Um, particularly because you can see their little particle effects sticking out of the ground like I did over there. I never would have known there was a spawner there. <clears throat> um... I still don't I don't know how I managed to get past that without having any any problems. But I did. <clears throat> so Oh right, because it was totally buried so it wasn't spawning. Gotcha. I I don't I just confused myself. Like if he had just taken it and instead of putting it under the ground, put it in a wall just so that it was like one behind here, I'd have had spawns like crazy out this side here. <clears throat> but uh he didn't. So that's just some advice for him if he wants to Make another map. Make sure that you've got uh, stuff like that going on. If he hasn't made another map, I really don't know. I mean, I think he may have made another map, or is at least working on one. But I am not sure. So, uh, when I find out, I'll get back to you on that. Because I'll probably play it. Uh, I like the capture the mon- Complete the monument. God! <sighs> anyway. <laughs> um... Alright, so once I harvest these trees, that'll be it for this episode. Because we are over.
believe it or not. Uh, I know, it went by quickly. It went by fast for me, too. So. <laughs> anyway. Uh, so, thank you for watching. I'll try to get some of this done off-camera at some point. I may not, though. I really like just having you guys here with me. I don't really know why. It's just, it's so much more fun for me to have you guys here. So. Anyway. Let's just stick that back in there. But that, wow, we got a bunch of wood, actually. We have a lot of wood. So that's cool. I'll actually just, uh, put that in the furnace right now. And make us <coughs> 64 charcoal. So there you go. Alright, so, yep, that's the end of this episode. We didn't get any wool, unfortunately, but we did scout a new area, got a bunch of materials here. Um, and next episode we should be good to just run in and destroy everything. So, yeah. Okay. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.